JFL Williams videos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a quick and easy method for creating a border around a photograph in Photoshop. Getting started, I'll take my photograph, drop it down to Photoshop. And Photoshop start it with the photograph. I'll use the copy and I'll shut off the original just in case anything should go wrong. A quick method for creating a border is to create a new layer and ensure the layer is on top. Pick the color you want for your border and what I do is I simply pick a color that's inside of the photograph. That way I get a complementary color. On the new layer, make sure the new layer is selected. I select the bucket tool and paint the entire layer. From there I use the marquee tool and adjust the marquee so it fits the area that I want to take out. On the painted layer, select delete Go to select, deselect the marquee, and now I have a nice border which complements the photograph. Now I can work a little bit with the border by selecting the layer settings or the layer styles. And I'll come down and I want to bevel a bit. And I can actually play around with that and get the beveling exactly the way I want it. And that's sort of what I want, so I select OK. And there I have a border around my photograph. In this particular photograph, I'd also like to do a matting. So to do a mat, I'll create another layer. And I'll take the new layer and drop it down in between the border and the photograph. Once again, I'll select a color for the matting. And now the color I want for the matting would have to be slightly different than the border itself. I'm selecting a color within the photograph, so it will complement the photograph. And I need a light color, would be preferable. Now that I have my color and my new layer is selected, I'll go back to the bucket. and assure that I've got the proper layer. And once again, I'll do a paint bucket. Again, using the marquee tool, I'm going to go out a little bit further this time. And I got the marquee where I want it. So once again, I do a delete. And that section is gone. Deselect the marquee, and now I have a nice matting. Now I could do a 3D or a bevel on the matting as well. And I think that's just about what I'm looking for. Select OK. And I'll do a save. Now anytime I want to change the matting color or the frame color, I can go in and start a new layer and simply turn off the other layers and experiment. As I say, this is a quick and easy method for getting layers. Uh, it's a quick and easy method for adding a mat. Hope you enjoy. One of the things that this method will allow you to do is to experiment a bit before you actually frame and mat a photograph. You could actually take your photo with the frame and the mat to a Photoshop and give them an idea of what you want as well as the colors that you want. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe. And any comments you have, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks. J.F.L. Williams Videos